Welcome to Enox Engineering, I'm Alan. Today I'll be looking at the variable speed motor and inverter that I fitted three years ago on the lathe and see how it's been performing over the last three years. But let's go into the workshop and take a look. This is the inverter inside here. This was where the transformer was for the light with just an on off switch and it filled this whole space. So I've taken the transformer out, made a box inside to put the inverter in, and also in there there is a small transformer for 12 volt to work the lamp. The switch here is for the light, just leave that on. When the main power to the lathe goes off, the light goes off anyway. Next to that is the motor housing with the pulleys in. So at the bottom I have a new motor that was bought with the inverter and that has an imperial motor. It's a three phase, three quarter horsepower and it's got resilient mounts. It's an imperial motor, not a metric one. And the pulley change here is all original. So what I want to do is run through the different speeds and see what speeds I can get on the inverter from the original speeds. Now this is the original speed chart which is still on the lathe and it says biggest pulley is 1400 to 270 rpm depending whether the lever is, is in A or B. So I'm not going to do both, I'll just do the lever in position A. So that should run at 1400 rpm. Now with the new motor and the inverter it's controlled from this box. You have a start switch, a stop switch, forward switch there and reverse, run and jog. And this knob here controls the speed. So with the old pulley system, I'd have a choice of 1,400 revs or 270 by changing the gear on the top. So I want to see what I'll get now without changing any gears, just using the speed control. Now I have fitted a rev counter there. So if I start this off, now on the old pulley system, I could get 1,400 maximum speed. There I've got 1,460. Still climbing. So I still have that maximum speed. Now, see how far I can go down, slowing it down. It's about there. You can just hear it squealing. The squeal noise is from the inverter, so it's 100 RPM. So the slowest I could get with the pulleys is 270. So I can go slower with the inverter than with the original pulleys. So there on the, the first pulley, it's still going at 82, 80 RPM is below the speed I would have had if I changed the gears. Let's stop that. So now I'll change the belt. It's now on the second pulley in. We'll see what speed I get on this. Speed should be between 850 and 165. The top speed on this one is 900 and 17. And the slowest speed is 40. That's 917 and 40. 
and the plate says 850 to 165. So now I'll change the belt to the next one along. Now we're looking at the speed on the next pulley. 540 to 105. So on this it's 579. On the original pulley it would have been 540. It's 579. About there, it's at 42. The slowest speed on that pulley would have been 105. Change to the next pulley. On the chart, this pulley should be. 340 RPM down to 66. Three seven one. That's given me 28 RPM. We'll now change to the smallest pulley, which should give me the slowest speed. So let's try it at the fast speed first. Two hundred and twenty six. And the slowest speed I can get when I put the dial on number one. Still going round. Eighteen. That's running at eighteen RPM. So now I have a speed range as between 1,461, which if you look at the chart, it's only 61 RPM above, but down to 18 RPM, where before the slowest I could go was 40. And of course I can go any speed in between the maximum and minimum on each pulley, whereas before I was fixed to just one speed. So what I tend to do is leave it on the second pulley and that covers 90% of the work that I'm doing. The only time I need to slow it down or speed it up is when I'm parting off depending on the diameter of the part. Plus the only other problem you may have would be depending on the torque at the slower speeds. Where I've never found a problem up to now. So if I open the door where this red tape is that's just to stop any bit sticking on there but there's a ring there and in that ring I've embedded a magnet and this is the sensor here that senses the revs of that magnet gives a pulse which then goes out on the wire to the readout above so you've seen the speeds you can get at each pulley setting and I very rarely need to change my pulley speeds. Oh well, that's it for today. Hope that was interesting. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time on Enots Engineering. <laughs>